Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a Freddy Krueger cake. We have a film festival here in Austin, Texas. It's called Fantastic Fest, and they reached out to us because they wanted a cake for the showing of A Nightmare on Elm Street to Freddy's Revenge. What's really cool about this cake order is the actor from the film was actually there. His name is Mark Patton, and he was presented the cake on stage in front of everyone. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel because we put out new cake videos every Monday. And if you want to support us in our videos, you can head over to patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes and become a patron. So let's get started. I start this cake out with a custom built structure that's going to hold up the layers of cake. So that structure is of the neck and the bottom of the chin. So think of it as a really elaborate cake board. This cake is going to be rainbow, so we have red, orange, and yellow, and I'm gonna use that for the face, and then the hat is going to be the rest of the rainbow's colors. Once the cake is stacked, I cover the entire thing in a layer of chocolate ganache. This is my crumb coat, and I cover the cake in modeling chocolate. Then you wanna blend that modeling chocolate into the neck, and then I have a panel in the back to completely cover the cake. I'm not gonna worry about the top just yet because he's wearing a hat. Next, I'm mapping out where the facial features are going to be. So I'm planning out where the eyes are gonna be by adding some eye sockets, and then the nose and the mouth. Um, before I get into any major details, I wanna make sure that I know exactly where each of the features needs to be placed. And that's because if I get a little bit too excited and I start working on some details and I realize maybe the, the mouth is a little too high or low or any of the features are just slightly off, then I have to scrap it and start over. So this way you map it out, make sure your proportions are correct, and then you can go in and add all the details. Now that I have the face somewhat sculpted, I'm going to work on the hat. So here I'm trimming away the head at a slant. I'm placing on a custom made bendable cake board and I covered that cake board in modeling chocolate. Then I put a dowel through the center so that the brim of the hat doesn't start to shift. Next I'm gonna stack the cake and I've got three layers for the hat. We have green, blue, and purple. And that completes the rainbow. I think it looks hilarious when right before it's carved because it kind of looks like a, one of those old school cat in the hat hats and I'm showing my age but it looks pretty funny. Seeing Freddy with any colors other than red and green in his sweater is, is a little strange. <laughs> so I'm just taking a serrated knife, trimming away the cake to the shape of the hat, and then I cover the entire thing in chocolate ganache. Once it's covered and smoothed out, I have a layer of modeling chocolate that goes over top of that. I place that on and I blend the top of the hat into the brim of the hat. And I'm trying to hide any seams. So any areas where two pieces of chocolate meet, I'm gonna blend those out with sculpting tools. Now a really fun effect is if you take a hard bristled brush and you press onto the chocolate, it looks like felt. So that's a really fun and easy effect. Next I'm gonna go back to the face. I'm going to start sculpting the ears. I wanna make sure that the ears are correct, not only from the side, but when I look at him from the front. Sometimes I can make them a little too wide or maybe they're too close to his head so they look a little narrow. So I have to use the images of him that I have pulled up on my laptop and I wanna match that. Now that all the proportions are correct and I have the basic features sculpted out, I get to add all the details. So he has these kind of like pockets of area where his skin stretches and there's these holes and divots. It kind of looks like muscle. So I'm going in and I'm adding all of this fun texture. So there's lines and marks and creases and I am just making sure that the entire face and his head and neck are covered in this texture. This is fun because you can really run with it. There's a few marks that I specifically made on the front of the face, but for the most part, I'm kind of just going in and adding uh, the little curved in areas wherever I want. I want this to look like a nice traditional bust, so I'm going in 
and I'm adding just a little bit of the shoulders and the chest. And this is just black modeling chocolate, so the same chocolate that I used on the hat. I just wanna make it nice and clean, it's a little curved, and I make sure everything's covered. Now it's time for the sweater. So I have a texture mat. I've made a video about this texture mat where I made a stuffed longhorn. So if you wanna check that out to see how I created this sweater texture, you can absolutely check out that video. But I added a layer of red modeling chocolate with the texture and that is going to be a sweater. What's really fun about this cake is we have that felt texture, uh, his face, which is that skin texture, and then also this really cool knit texture. So we have a bunch of, of textures happening and honestly, I couldn't ask for a more fun cake to make. So now that he's completely sculpted, it's time to paint. First thing I'm gonna go in and add are some areas that are a bit red and pink, and those are in those pockets that I sculpted. So this is kind of like the exposed muscles in his face, maybe. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I'm going in and adding those red holes, and then the other areas are going to be a little bit more of a brown tone. Still, still quite a bit pink, but it's got some yellows in there, a little bit more brown. I want a lot of variety of skin tones in this. Then of course I'm adding the blue eyes. Real drama happening here. His eyes are wide open. And I, I have the center of the eye a nice light blue, and then the outside edge is a darker blue. So I add a few highlights in the eye, and of course, my favorite part, adding the pupil, because I really think that helps make it kind of come to life. It looks so much better when you add that just small black dot. I added some dark areas in the corners of the eye, and I also brightened the whites of his eyes a little bit. Now that the eyes are painted, I'm gonna go in and mess with the skin a little more. I wanna add a few super dark areas and a few lighter areas. So I'm adding those highlights and dark areas now. This cake is so fun to paint and sculpt. Honestly, this is like a dream cake. I, always reference special effects makeup artists uh, when I do cakes like this. I've all, since I started making cakes almost 10 years ago, I just love special effects makeup artists, and I thought, how can I make cakes that are referencing those special effects makeup artists? And there you have it, a Freddy Krueger cake. Rainbow on the inside and disturbing on the outside. What a fun character.